first chart which is there in your customs the first chart which is relating to definitions everyone definition they generally don't go ahead and ask in the exam but what if they ask you so i've gone ahead and given it over here the first definition talks about baggage sir what do you mean by baggage baggage me includes unaccompanied baggage so if you are coming from outside india and your bag is coming after you or the bag would have come before you then they are going ahead and telling that unaccompanied baggage which was there is also which is not accompanied by you is also a baggage but ba the baggage provisions will be applicable but it does not include motor vehicle motor vehicles are not baggage what do you mean by beneficial owner a beneficial owner means any person whose on whose behalf the goods are being imported so for an example for an example i went ahead and took one custom car license on for my on the name of my employee my employee went to the port and the custom officer went ahead and caught him hey these goods are prohibited why did you go ahead and import can you tell me who is the beneficial owner is it my employee or is it me i am the beneficial owner and i will become the importer and i'll be caught over there they are telling beneficial owner means any person on whose behalf the goods are being imported or exported or who exercises effective control over the goods being imported or exported i have i have gone ahead and actually imported so they are telling who is going to de derive the benefit out of the import is known as the beneficial owner next sir what do you mean by a bill of entry but by a bill of entry means a bill of entry which is filed under section number 46 with respect to your import used for clearance of imported goods and bill of entry is basically a declaration which has been accepted and assigned a number by the indian customs ka edi system electronic data interchange system it is filed by the importer or his agent so whenever goods come to india you file your bill of entry to either clear the goods or transfer it to the warehouse that is known as a bill of entry it's just a declaration which you go ahead and file online sir bill of export what is a bill of export a bill of export is ref referred to in section number 50 it is submitted by the export exporter when he wants to go ahead and export by land when a person export by ship or he export by west uh, air he files a shipping bill but if a person is going ahead and exporting by land he will file a bill of export the next is coastal goods sir what do you mean by coastal goods are a coastal goods means when goods are moving from supposingly chennai port to kochi port then one port to another port in india when goods are moving those are known as coastal goods coastal goods means goods other than imported goods transported in a vessel from one port in india to another conveyance what do you mean by conveyance conveyance just means vessel vehicle or aircraft conveyance can be any one of them vessel vehicle or vessel aircraft or a vehicle sir what do you mean by custom port custom port means that port which has been appointed as a custom port or an airport so sir custom airport means an airport which is appointed under clause a of section number 7 of the to be a custom airport it is appointed by the cbic as basically as a custom airport and it includes a place appointed under clause aa of that section to be an air freight station basically besides the custom airport you will see big big uh, places are there big big godowns are there with they, those are known as air freight stations okay sir point is clear what do you mean by custom area sir the custom area means the area of the custom station uh, or a warehouse so baba basically when you go to the custom port you will be able to see the whole area is there there will be custom warehouse which is there sir the goods are being unloaded over here they go to the warehouse this whole area is a custom area they say over here what is a custom area means the area of the custom station or warehouse and it includes any area in which imported goods or export goods are ordinarily kept before being cleared cleared by the custom authority the area where the goods are kept sir what do you mean by custom port custom port means the port which has been appointed as a custom port and it includes an inland container depot yes sir means any port which is appointed to be a custom port and includes a place appointed under 
register clause AA of that section to be an inland container deport. An inland container deport is also a custom. Uh, inland container deport is also ICD. Inland container deport is also a custom port. Okay, sir. Point is clear. Then, sir, what do you mean by a custom station? Sir, means any port, port, airport, international courier terminal, foreign post office, land custom station, all are known as custom station. When I say custom station, it can be a custom port, it can be a custom airport, it can be land custom station, it can be a foreign post office, it can be a uh, international courier terminal from where couriers are being dispatched, anything can be a, all these things can be a custom station. What is duty able? Duty able. Duty able means those goods which are chargeable to duty but duty is yet not paid because once duty is paid they become duty paid goods. So sir means any goods chargeable to duty and on which duty has not been paid because after payment of duty they are not duty able. They are duty paid goods. Okay sir. What do you mean by an entry? An entry means a bill of entry or it can be a shipping bill or it can be a bill of export and includes the entry made under regulation number 84 basically with regards to post they are going ahead and talking post next sir what do you mean by exporter exporter means exporter in relation to any goods at any time between their entry for export at the time when they are exported includes an owner the owner of the goods is also an exporter. Beneficial owner who is going to derive the benefit out of the export is also an owner, exporter or any person holding himself out. Sir, I am the exporter. Then Baba, you are the exporter. You are holding yourself out as the exporter. Then also you are an exporter. Sir, what do you mean by a foreign going vessel? A foreign going vessel is a vessel which is going from India, outside India carrying goods or passenger. It can include, so over here, it means a vessel, aircraft for the time being which is engaged in carriage of goods or passenger between any port or airport in India and any port or airport outside India. So when it is carrying passenger or goods from India outside India, it is known as a foreign going vessel. Might be when it is going from India, it is touching a port in India and then going outside. So that can happen. Chennai to one plane went to Delhi and then going outside. That is also a foreign going vessel. It is telling over here whether touching any intermediate port or airport in India or not and it includes any naval or foreign government taking part in naval exercises. So if any vessel from outside India, US naval vessel has come to India for doing naval exercises then that is also a foreign going vessel and you know what duty free stores are stores which are supplied to a foreign going vessel are duty free. Okay, sir. Then, sir, if there is any vessel engaged in fishing or any other operation outside the territorial water, so if fish, uh, one fishing car ship goes outside the territorial water, catches fish and gets to India, on that fish, custom duty is there. So, Baba, that fish trawler, the fishing ship which is there, which goes outside the territorial water, is a, also a foreign going vessel because it is crossing the territorial water. And hence, Sir, duty-free stores can be supplied to a foreign going vessel. Stores which are supplied to a foreign going vessel are duty-free and that is why they are going ahead and telling over here that a vessel which goes outside the territorial water is also a foreign going vessel and stores supplied to a foreign going vessel are duty-free. Then, any vessel proceeding to a place outside India for any reason whatsoever is also a foreign going vessel. Important definition. Okay, sir. Then, what do you mean by goods? Sir, goods means any vessel, aircraft or vehicle. Goods includes any vessel, aircraft or vehicle. It can include stores. It can include baggage, currency and negotiable instrument and any other kind of movable property. All are goods and goods when they are imported, you will have to pay custom duty, import or export pay. Yes, sir. Sir, what do you mean by imported goods? See, everyone over here, I have gone ahead and imported some mobile from outside India. Those are imported goods unless I don't clear it from the port. After I clear it from the port, sir, a local mobile phone and this mobile phone, both are normal goods only. They are no more imported. Sir, it is imported 
means any goods brought into India from a place outside India but does not include goods which have been cleared for home consumption because after clearance these goods and these goods are brothers they are no more imported non-imported etc so her my perfume is imported Baba, that general sense may people say otherwise imported means which is not yet cleared because after clearance it becomes normal goods okay sir point is clear next who is an importer an importer means any person Importer in relation to any goods at any time before their importation and the time when they are cleared for home consumption includes any owner or beneficial owner or any person holding himself out to be the owner. Sir, I am the owner. You are the owner. Sir, I am the beneficial owner of the import. Who is deriving the benefit? I. So, I am the owner. I am holding out myself out to be the owner. I went to the port. I told these goods are mine. You are the owner. It happens that US ka person has appointed me as the agent to sell goods in, in India. Although I am not the goods ka owner. But they are going ahead and telling over there. If you go and tell I am the owner of the goods. Then you are the importer. Next. Sir what do you mean by India? India includes the territorial waters of India. India includes the territorial waters of India. Yes sir point is clear. Indian custom water. Indian custom water extends up to 200 nautical miles means the water extending into the sea up to a limit of exclusive economic zone under the section number 7 continental shelf exclusive economic zone and other maritime zone act. Baba I will tell you one thing sir it is going ahead and telling sir what is territorial waters of India Indian custom water means the water extending into the sea up to a limit of exclusive economic zone under section number 7 of the territorial water continental shelf exclusive economic zone and other maritime zone act baba this is the name of the act under section number 7 of the this act this is the name of the act you can remember up to 200 nautical mile is indian custom water and it includes any bay gulf harbor creek or a tidal river i will go ahead and tell you sir for an example over here in india one tidal river is there means the sea ocean is there no here a small portion is cut this this river which is going from inside this is also indian custom water only are we clear everyone yes sir these are all uh, tidal river tidal river harbor greek all these are also included in the Indian custom water. Okay, sir. Point is clear. What do you mean by PNR information? Passenger name record information. These are PNR, passenger name record information, means the record prepared by the operator of the aircraft, vessel, or vehicle, or is authorized agent for each journey book or on behalf of any by or on behalf of passenger. So basically, passenger name record information. I hope you guys remember. Whenever you are coming from outside India, you have to give PNR information to the officer who are the people coming up with you. When you are going from India, outside India, you have to give PNR information, passenger name record information to the officer who are the crew members and passenger going along with you. Yes, sir, we remember that. Next. Sir, what do you mean by a person in charge? A person in charge in respect of a, a, aircraft. Sir, vessel means the master. Aircraft, it is the commander or the pilot. Sir, railway train ka case mein, the conductor or the guard or any other conveyance, sir, truck etc. ka case mein, the driver or any other person who is the, who is having the, or any other person who is the person in charge of the conveyance will become the person in charge. Sir, in case of plane, in case of vessel, it is the master, in case of aircraft, it is the commander or pilot, railway may conductor or guard or the person having the chief direction or the person basically who is giving the chief direction of the train or sir any other conveyance ka case may it is always the driver or the person in charge of the conveyance what do you mean by prohibited goods prohibited goods means those goods which import is prohibited you can't get it into india it says any goods the import or export of which is subject to any prohibition under the law for the time being in force but does not include any goods in respect of which condition subject to which goods are permitted to be imported or exported have been complied with see there are some goods for which if you go ahead and fulfill the condition you can import or export but 
they are not talking about prohibited good prohibited means which is completely prohibited you can't get it into india even if you fulfill any condition you can't get it into india or you can't import or export basically those are known as prohibited prohibited means not allowed conditional means you fulfill the condition you can import or export they are telling prohibited good does not include those it does not include those goods with respect of which the condition subject to which goods are permitted to be imported or exported have been complied with these goods are not prohibited goods then stores such stores means the goods for use in a vessel or aircraft includes fuels and spare part and other articles of equipment whether or not for immediate fishing immediate fitting sir supposingly one ship is coming from outside india ship may human being ka consumption ke liye what food is there life jacket etc is there that is stored sir ship may fuel is there spare parts is there for consumption of the ship that is known as stores okay sir point is clear basically whenever a vessel or a ship is there which is coming to india or going from india and for the consumption of the ship and the human beings which are there on the ship sir whatever goods are there those are known as those are known as stores yes sir we are clear here we are done with a quick recap of your definitions everyone definitions i have gone ahead and done in details yes sir we are done with your definitions under customs